Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth with Twinkie TV and I'm here to do episode number 18 of Fated to Love You. Yay! It finally got good. Episode 15, 16, and 17 were so difficult to watch because Gunny was being such a jerk. He was being the noble idiot. He was just being kind of a cad. He was being somebody that nobody liked in drama fever land. So I have to say, 18 made it up for me because Gunny and Myung finally were able to express their love for each other, and it was some really cute moments. And the way it came about is, at the end of episode 17, like, Myung and Daniel, they're like, you know, you can't just leave to go to France and just, like, not settle things with Gunny, so you have to go and like hash it out with him. So she does, and the thing is, is like he wasn't home, so she went out. She went to his secret little man cave. He had all of Getongi's like baby stuff there, so she, you know, light bulb goes off. Like he didn't forget about her, he didn't forget about Getongi, no matter what he said. Um, Youngja was not a figure, figure or a figment of her and his imagination, well, kind of, but, you know, he was expressing his real feelings through Youngja over text messages to Myung. So then she finds these archived messages or these video logs, kind of like this one right here, where Gunny is, like, saying, you know, how much he loves Myung, how much, like, the woman that he's loved, you know, he's sending her away, going off to France, and, you know, he has no right to love her. So she's, like, bawling her eyes out, he is, and then on, on the other side of the fence, he is actually going to um, a conference saying, you know, he's got these Hutchinson's disease and it's like a degenerative mental and physical disorder. And so, you know, he's stepping down. But lo and behold, he thinks of the worst case scenario, but the best case scenario and what actually happens in this K-drama reality is that Myung wants to be with him. And she doesn't want to think of what ifs and imagining the worst of the future. She wants to live in the here and present with him right now. And if he ever succumbs to the disease, they can get through it together. And, you know, she doesn't mind. She She's not in it for just, like, the pretty happy moments, but she's there also for, like the really gritty, maybe difficult times with him, and that he shouldn't push her away. So there was like a very expressive kiss. There was like, you know, super cute interaction with them, with the two of them in the hotel room where, you know, they're kind of like bantering back and forth. And she basically just squeezes his cheek to get revenge. And he was really cute about it too, because he's like, you know, turn the other cheek with the whole, like, you know, her, like, pinching him so hard. And, yeah, it was just super cute. Back to Faded to Love You that I really love. Oh, it was just such a sweet, sweet, sweet episode. I absolutely really loved episode number 18 of Faded to Love You because it brought back all of the favorite good moments that I really liked about Myung, about Gunny, and I gotta say, you know, Gunny, he's just, if he doesn't have this neurodegenerative disease that makes him like mentally kind of weird, he's just a weird character in itself. Like, he's so loud and he's got so much character that it's kind of like, you're just weird. If I, if I met you in real life and you're like, larger than life and you're talking so loud and all this other stuff, I'm like, He's kind of weird, but of all the characters in this Fated to Love You drama that um, I identify with, it's not Daniel, the sweet, good, stand by his loves, you know, you know, just stand by her, just be the solid rock. It's not Myung, who's like sweet and innocent and shy and just like, you know, never could do wrong and like the candy girl. I'm kind of leaning towards Gunny, like the person with like, you know, noble integrity trying to do the best but then is just super weird and kind of quirky and just kind of odd i guess i kind of more identify with his character even though he's just i even know that he's a little bit weird so yeah so we got we finally got Myung and gunny back together again so yay team gunny and then oh daniel i'm so sad i'm so sad for you that you you lost Myung, and really you didn't have 
that much of a chance because she was always in love with Gunny. But the interesting thing is at the end of episode 18 is that you see Sarah looking at Daniel's old childhood photo. And I think she recognizes herself in his old photo. Yeah. And the other big giant moment in this Korean drama is Yong's mother. And Yong is supposedly the half-brother to Gunny. Yong's, Yong's mother kind of confesses that she had a very hard life and that she wasn't really officially Gunny's dad's mistress, but the care care caretaker while he was in severe decline towards the end of his life. And that Young isn't Gunny's half-brother and that Gunny's dad really was just taking care of them because he felt bad for them and he just wanted them to have like a decent life. So that was like kind of like a nice wrap-up for that whole kind of string of um, the K-drama. And I really like how they wrapped it up because it's like, you know, and Gunny, he's like, because Young was actually trying to resign and say, I'm, I'm leaving the house, you know, I, I feel bad. But Gunny was like such a stand-up guy. He's like kind of like playing it and saying, you can't leave. You can't resign from the company. You don't think you could just think that a young guy is like so easy to get a job and you can't leave when it's hard times. You have to, you have to do your work and, you know, don't leave the house because I'm leaving and you have to keep grandmother, you know occupied so it was just a very heartfelt touching moment for me it's like oh and then there's that whole interaction with like ice and then dragon like young's character is able to do the whole fire thing and so i don't quite know where they're going with that if it's like street fighter if <laughs> maybe you know they're doing street fighter and yeah young is like the dragon character and jang hyuk's character is like i don't know the guy who can throw ice no idea where they're, that's going. But, you know, they're going to have a couple of episodes, 19 and 20 left through this whole, whole K-drama series where they have to win over Myung's mother to get married and also just kind of like wrap things up for them and like put it on a cute bow. I mean, there's two whole episodes left, so there might be a little bit of drama left, but not like so much where you're just like, ah, oh, like for, you know, episode 15, 16, and 17. And I got to say that this drama... It's been 20 episodes, so that's 10 weeks. That's more than two months. And that this, this drama has taken me all the way through summer of 2014. I have a lot of good memories, a lot of fond memories for Gunny, Myung, and Daniel. And I got to say, Che Jing Hyuk, oh, my heart melts for you because you just, you just played it so well in this K-drama. And I heard Che Jin Hyuk is going to go into the military soon. So more power to you, Che Jin Hyuk. And, you know, congratulations that you're, you know, becoming a man, going into the military. And, yeah, let me know what you think about this episode. I absolutely loved episode 18 of Faded to Love You. Please like this um, YouTube video and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.